When Elon Musk announced that Tesla's most affordable electric car wouldn't be released until 2026, many thought it was just another marketing ploy. But for those who follow the brands behind the scenes, the delay was actually a clever move. While other manufacturers rushed to launch new electric models before the $7,500 tax credit expired in the United States, Tesla decided to wait. Musk realized something others overlooked. When the benefit ended, the market would collapse. And it was precisely into this vacuum that he intended to step in with full force. The timing wasn't luck. It was pure calculation. The credit expired in September 2025, and chaos began. Traditional brands like GM, Ford, and Volkswagen began to reduce investments in electric vehicles, halting projects, and cutting production. Suddenly, the once unbeatable sector was collapsing under its own weight. And that's when Tesla kept its cool. Instead of rushing in and competing for a customer base still dependent on incentives, it chose to watch the storm from afar, while the rest of the industry struggled to stay afloat. Now, with the market weakening and competition slowing, Tesla is preparing the blow that could redefine everything. The launch in the fourth quarter of 2026 is no coincidence. It's perfect timing. With production lines in Austin and Berlin adjusted and battery costs plummeting, Tesla is entering the field when no one else has any breathing room. Sales of standard electric cars have fallen about 30% since the end of subsidies, and the average consumer is once again wary of high prices and limited range. It's in this climate of disbelief that Musk reappears, promising an electric car that costs less than a popular combustion engine. And the most curious thing, it's not a concept, it's a road-ready reality. Musk, in fact, had already said in an interview that Tesla's real secret isn't just making electric cars, but knowing when to launch them. And he's right. While many saw the end of the tax credit as a disaster, Tesla saw a golden opportunity. With other automakers in decline, the company has the leverage to negotiate inputs, dominate the battery supply chain, and even capture global attention with a promise. A Tesla for under $14,000. That figure alone is enough to make headlines and ignite the competition. This strategy also reinforces something Tesla has always done better than anyone else, setting the pace for the industry. When it launches something, the whole world reacts. And this time will be no different. The 2026 Model 2 doesn't arrive as just another cheap car. It symbolizes a new cycle, a cycle where Tesla is once again in the spotlight, not for its luxury or speed, but for delivering the impossible, an affordable, beautiful, and efficient electric car. Musk knows the public has waited too long, and it's precisely this wait that makes the launch even more powerful. Behind the scenes, some say the delay also served to mature internal technologies. The unboxed production process, the new autonomous driving software, and the restructuring of the gigafactories wouldn't be ready until 2025. Postponing the launch meant giving everything time to thoroughly test everything. And, considering Tesla's track record with prototypes and early failures, it's a smart move. Unlike previous versions, the Model 2 arrives with the promise of reliability, reduced costs, and performance that could change the perception of what an entry-level electric car is. It's interesting to note how Musk always thinks beyond the present. While others measure success in quarters, he thinks in decades. The Model 2 isn't just any car, it's a long-term piece of a global expansion strategy. Tesla doesn't just want to sell more, it wants to dominate the popular segments. And to do so, it needs a product that appeals to people's budgets. The timing of the launch in 2026, right after the market downturn, is almost poetic. Just when everyone is disbelieving in cheap electric cars, Tesla emerges to prove they are possible. The Model 2's price, announced at $13,579, sounded almost like a provocation to the industry. While traditional brands are still struggling to lower their production costs, Tesla managed to achieve a price that seemed impossible 
just a few years ago. Elon Musk knew it wasn't enough to simply create an affordable car. He needed to deliver something that sounded unbelievable. And that's exactly what he did. This price isn't just an attractive number. It's a declaration of war. Behind it lies cost engineering and industrial restructuring that completely redefine the concept of viability in electric vehicles. Behind the scenes at Gigafactory Texas, the pace is almost urgent. The Model 2's final design was finalized months ago, and the assembly lines are in pre-production mode. The first camouflaged prototypes were spotted on the roads near Fremont and Austin, confirming what the rumors anticipated. The car is ready. Elon Musk is in a hurry, and the reason is simple. Every month of delay means millions lost in a market that is about to be recaptured. The goal now is clear. Begin deliveries before Christmas 2026 and transform the end of the year into a global sales spectacle. The planned production capacity is impressive. Tesla is estimated to be able to manufacture up to half a million Model 2 units before the end of 2026, a feat that, if confirmed, will place the company at an unprecedented volume level in the history of electric vehicles. And this changes everything. It's no longer about selling premium cars or serving a niche. It's about dominating the mass market. Musk seems to be betting on the old logic of scale. The more you produce, the more you reduce costs. And with the new assembly system that will be implemented, this equation makes more sense than ever. Another interesting point is the balance between cost and experience. Franz von Holzhausen, Tesla's head of design, made it clear that the Model 2's focus isn't just on cutting costs, but on enhancing the feeling of being in a Tesla, even at a fraction of the price. This means that the interior, despite being minimalist, maintains the brand's DNA, clean technology, an intuitive interface, and sustainable materials. The idea is simple. Deliver something affordable, yet still feels premium. A car that doesn't feel economical, but rather intelligent. And it's curious how this philosophy extends to the very way the car is manufactured. Tesla is about to apply concepts learned from the Model Y and Cybertruck to the production of the Model 2, integrating autonomous robots, mega part casting, and a modular assembly system that reduces the number of welds by up to 70%. This means fewer failures, less time, and, of course, lower costs. Efficiency is in every detail, from the chassis design to the optimization of logistics routes within the factory itself. Tesla isn't just launching a cheap car, it's ushering in a new industrial model. The timing of the launch is also a savvy move. With traditional automakers cutting investments, Tesla faces less resistance. The market is hungry for something new, and the average consumer, tired of promises, seeks a real, tangible product with fast delivery. That's exactly what Tesla offers. A car that can be ordered online and delivered in a few weeks, with virtually no maintenance and ridiculously low operating costs. It's as if, suddenly, driving a Tesla has ceased to be a luxury and become an everyday occurrence. But there's something deeper to this strategy. By placing the Model 2 in this price range, Musk isn't just democratizing the electric car. He's expanding Tesla's empire to an audience that previously only observed from afar. Young people, middle-income families, ride-hailing drivers, everyone is on the radar. This democratization is also a loyalty-building move. Those who buy an entry-level Tesla are unlikely to return to another brand. It's a clever trap, in a good way. Musk doesn't just want to sell cars. He wants to create new fans, new evangelists for his vision of mobility. The factory has always been treated as a functional place, a space where parts come in and cars come out. But for Elon Musk, the factory is the product itself. And when he said this, few understood the weight of his statement. The Model 2 is the first car to be completely molded using the unboxed process, a new assembly philosophy that transforms the traditional logic of the automotive industry. Instead of assembling the car in a linear sequence, as has been done for over a century, 
Tesla decided to disassemble the production line and reassemble it in independent blocks, like a moving puzzle. The idea is so bold it sounds like science fiction, but in practice, it solves real problems, bottlenecks, wasted time, space, and energy. With the unboxed process, the body, electrical components, battery, and interior are assembled separately and only come together at the end as modules that fit together with millimeter precision. This reduces production time to an unprecedented level, from hours to seconds. It's estimated that a complete Model 2 cycle takes between 5 and 10 seconds per unit. Yes, a complete car every few seconds. If this seems absurd, it's because we're accustomed to the slow pace of traditional industry. But Tesla isn't following the same path. This new approach eliminates hundreds of redundant robots, miles of conveyor belts, and dozens of assembly stations. Less complexity means fewer failures and less rework. And this translates directly into cost reduction, one of the pillars of achieving that incredible price tag of 13,579. The revolution isn't in the car itself, but in how it's created. Another direct impact of this change is on the factory's physical space. The unboxed model allows for up to three times more compact production. Instead of a 1E1500 meter production line like traditional factories, Tesla operates with simultaneous production cells that take up less than half that space. As a result, it can scale production more easily, open new plants with less investment, and, most importantly, meet the explosive demand expected for the Model 2. After all, when a car becomes affordable for millions, it needs to be available to millions more. But perhaps the most ingenious aspect of this approach lies in the logistical gains. Because the car's components are built in parallel, Tesla can adapt production in real time to changing demand. If battery supply drops, the system simply slows down that module and speeds up others without shutting down the entire factory. This provides incredible flexibility to deal with supply fluctuations, something that has plagued the entire automotive industry in recent years. It's as if Tesla had put a brain at the heart of production, and now it thinks for itself. Another detail few people realize is the environmental impact of this new model. Less internal displacement, less wasted energy, fewer failures, all of this results in a much smaller carbon footprint, and this is essential to maintaining Tesla's image as a leader in sustainability. Producing quickly and cheaply can't mean producing dirty. The unboxed process shows that more can be done with less impact, something consumers in 2026 are increasingly demanding. Sustainability here isn't an option. It's part of the product. And the most dangerous side effect of all this is the destabilization of competition. Brands like Toyota, GM, and Volkswagen operate with rigid processes, slow production lines, and factories designed for another century. Adapting these structures to the unboxed style would require billions and years of engineering. Tesla knows this. By launching this new production logic now, it forces others to play catch-up. It's like changing the rules of the game after the championship has already started and still coming out ahead. That's why, when Musk talks about producing half a million Model 2s a year, no one laughs anymore. He's not just promising. He's showing the behind the scenes of how he'll deliver. The factory has become a living machine with synchronized cells and a flow that adapts in real time. And in the midst of all this, a cheap, scalable, efficient car is born and ready to change the market. Except this car, unlike the others, wasn't assembled. It was fitted together, thought out, accelerated, and we'll start to feel the results on the streets even before the end of 2026. The Model 2's true revolution isn't just its price or its design. It's what the car thinks, literally. The FSD V14 autonomous driving system, combined with the new AI5 chip, takes the Tesla Model 2 to a whole new level, one that challenges the very logic of driving. 
Elon Musk doesn't just want to take hands off the wheel. He wants to remove humans from the equation. And to achieve this, the intelligence behind the car needs to be more trustworthy than the drivers themselves. According to him, this technology can be up to 10 times safer than a normal person behind the wheel. This promise would be exaggerated if it weren't backed by data. The AI5 chip can process 40 times more variables simultaneously than its predecessor, the AI4. This means the car sees more, reacts faster, and makes more complex decisions with a much smaller margin of error. It's like driving with 360-degree eyes, night vision, athlete-like reflexes, and a mathematical brain that never gets distracted. And the most curious thing is that all this happens silently, without fanfare, as if it were just another car in traffic. Yet it's constantly thinking about everything. The integration of FSD V14 into the Model 2 is also strategic. While the more expensive models have been running with the system in testing since 2025, Tesla intends to scale this technology to the more affordable model. The reason is simple. The more cars with FSD on the road, the more data Tesla collects. And the more data, the smarter the system becomes. It's a never-ending learning spiral. At every corner, at every traffic light, the car is learning. And when it learns in one, all the others learn along with it. This is the power of collective intelligence on wheels. Beyond raw performance, the FSD V14 brings a subjective sensation that surprises even the most skeptical drivers. Many report that the car feels alive, anticipating decisions with almost human fluidity. Remember that moment when you hesitate before changing lanes? The Model 2, with FSD V14, already sensed the traffic pattern and changed lanes before you thought. Musk even said that the car feels soulful, a provocative statement, but one that conveys the naturalness that autonomous driving has achieved. It's not just about technology, it's about experience. This new generation of software and hardware also reinforces the confidence of regulatory agencies. A car that promises to be 10 times safer than a human behind the wheel is hard to ignore, especially when data begins to prove this advantage in real urban environments. Cities that were once obstacles to autonomy, full of unpredictable pedestrians, cyclists, and chaotic intersections, now become daily testing grounds. The Model 2 learns from all this and reacts better than any driver with decades of experience. And the most intriguing thing is that all this technology comes factory installed. It's not an option. It's not a special package for the wealthy. The Model 2 is already prepared to drive itself, process millions of variables per minute, and adapt to local traffic patterns. This standardization changes the market logic. It's no longer a luxury advantage, but a foundation for safety. With this, Tesla repositions the concept of the popular car. Now, the popular car is also autonomous, intelligent, and safe. Beyond steering, the AI5 chip opens the door to deeper integration with other car systems. Navigation becomes more precise, braking and acceleration systems smoother, and user interaction more intuitive. Imagine getting into your car, and it already knows where you're going, what song you want to listen to, and where the lightest traffic is. Sounds far-fetched? Not in 2026. Tesla is getting closer and closer to merging car, smartphone, and personal assistant into one thing. And that thing takes you wherever you want. And oddly enough, all of this ties into what comes next. The real reason Musk wants FSD to work en masse. Because when thousands of cars like the Model 2 are on the road, driving themselves with near-perfect precision, a new economy could emerge. We're not just talking about transportation, but passive income. And that's what transforms the Model 2 from a simple, 